World Heritage Sites of India Hi there! Do you know what heritage sites are? Let's learn about them today. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization that is UNESCO is an international organization. It aims to promote peace and stability among all countries of the world. It is also a leading organization that is working to protect and inform the world about the cultural, historic and scientific heritage. UNESCO recognizes different sites that are so important that they should be protected and visited by all. Such sites are called UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Come, let's learn about some of these sites in India. Pattadakal is a site of ancient Hindu and Jain temples in Karnataka. The temples here were built between the 7th and 8th centuries. They combine the Nagara and Dravidian architectural styles that come from North India and South India respectively. UNESCO calls this place a harmonious blend of architectural forms from Northern and Southern India. These are the great living Chola temples. It is a collection of Hindu temples in Tamil Nadu. They were built between the 11th and 12th centuries by the kings of the Chola dynasty. UNESCO considers these temples an exceptional and the most outstanding testimony to the development of the architecture of the Chola empire and Tamil civilization of South India. Next. We have Rani Ki Vav. It is a massive step well located in Gujarat. It was built by Queen Udayamati of the Solanki dynasty in the 11th century in memory of King Bhima I. Have you heard of the Mahabodhi temple? It is an ancient Buddhist temple in Bihar. It is said to be the place where Gautama Buddha attained enlightenment. It is considered one of the holiest sites in Buddhism. It is also one of the oldest brick temples in India. It was built by Emperor Ashoka and is said to house a descendant of the tree under which Buddha meditated. The Champaner Pavagad Archaeological Park is located in Gujarat and contains 114 monuments. The site is located around the ancient city of Champaner built by King Vanaraja Chavda. It is home to the Jama Masjid which served as the model for later mosques in India. The site contains forts, shrines, mosques and palaces. UNESCO says that it represents a perfect blend of Hindu-Muslim architecture. Lastly, here is the Agra Fort. It is located on the Yamuna River in the historic city of Agra. It was built by the Mughal Emperor Akbar in the 16th century. It was used as a military base as well as the residence of the royal family. Well, we've had a fun journey through all these heritage sites in India, haven't we? Now, it's time for you to plan an actual trip to one of these places. We'll meet you soon with another fresh concept. Bye-bye.